Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to another PHTV episode. I'm Giovanni Pulido. Today's episode of PHTV will be announcements only due to the busy nature of advisory today. Following PHTV, freshmen, please report to the theater at, for a freshman college seminar presented by the College Corner. Juniors, report to the same computer labs as last week to continue working on resumes. And seniors, after PHTV, please report to the big gym for a class meeting presented by our class officers. And I'm Eurisa Diaz. We have a lot of announcements and, and not enough time, so let's jump right in. Our club will be traveling to Peru spring break of next year. Sign up now for a $200 early registration discount and small monthly payments. See Rollins for details. Also, the office is still trying to return lost items left in the comments back to their owners. Pick up lost items in front of Miss Wolf's office. Any items not claimed in a week will be redistributed or given to some other group less fortunate some other less fortunate group. Students, we are not to use any removable storage <clears throat> here at school. Flash drives are prohibited. Students need to use their Google Docs to save their work. Students using flash drives <clears throat> can lose their computer privileges. Also, skateboards and longboards cannot be used <clears throat> inside the school. Anyone who does so will have their board taken away and put in the office. It is unsafe to be riding in the building and the wheels have been causing damage to the floors and walls. Students, we are starting to get complaints around the area of the school involving teen drivers. Please be courteous to our neighbors and obey the 20 mile per hour speed limit in school zones. Winter fun was right around the corner. Saturday, January 24th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. In the comments with DJ Gemini. The cost is $10 per person. Everyone is able to attend the formal dance, and this will be a great night of dancing and fun. The La Conica services are operating at our school on Thursday, starting at 8.30 a.m. If you are in need of any medical, physical, or dental reasons, see Mr. Akio at the attendance office to sign up. Also, at the library, the library is open Tuesday through Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.25 for students who need some extra time and help. There's a bus to take students home. Anyone who is interested in mediation, go to Mr. Cornett's room at lunch. Also, every Wednesday, Breezy and Leadership will hide a camel somewhere around the school, and the first person to find it and bring the camel to Breezy will win a prize. This week's winner is Yasmin Conchas. Attention seniors, listen very carefully. This is a reminder that you must have 80% of attendance in advisory in order to walk at graduation. This does not include activities. If you have missed several advisory sessions already this year, please be aware that you're in jeopardy of not walking during the graduation ceremony, even if you have earned all of your credits. So for those seniors in advisory right now, <clears throat> be sure to tell your friends that aren't in advisory right now that they may not walk at graduation. Let's make sure to attend all our classes, seniors. Also seniors, to be included in the yearbook, each senior must email a photo of your choice to our uh, Justin's associate, Patty Duncan. This photo must be emailed by Tuesday, January 20th, if you want to say in what, it, in what photo is used. There will be an FFA meeting at lunch in <laughs> Wednesday in Ms. Walkup's room. Also, if you are interested, parliamentary procedure and ag issue practice will be on Tuesday and Thursdays after school from 3.30 to 4.30 in Mr. Kennedy's room. We hope to see you there. Students, the end of this semester is approaching fast, so make sure you keep your grades and attendance up. Also, Community 101 would like to thank everyone who participated in the book drive for Head Start students. This week's lunch specials are Monday, the Marvelous Pirate Bowl, Tuesday, barbecue burrito with Carolina-style st slaw, Wednesday, Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, gravy, and a dinner roll, Thursday is breakfast for lunch, chicken and waffles with potato rounds, and finally, on Friday, is three cheese pasta and, C and Caesar salad. Friday is cookie day, so if you buy lunch and you will get <coughs> a cookie, make sure you enjoy those. In sports action, our boys basketball team traveled to Ashland Tuesday night to play the Grizzlies. Ashland had a big fourth quarter putting our Pirates into a hole. Our boys tried to fight back, but it wasn't enough as they lost to them by a score of 55-22. Last Friday, our boys traveled to South Umpqua High School for their final tournament of the regular season. They played Douglas High, the Douglas High School Trojans, falling by a score of 62-51. to 51. On Saturday, they played Suwasala, a rematch from an earlier season matchup that had our Pirates on top. But unfortunately, the Pirates 
Our Pirates fell by a score of 52 to 38. Our girls also played the Ashland Grizzlies. Sadly, it didn't go much better for them. <laughs> Enough shots weren't falling for our girls, and they left, and they fell to Ashland 54 to 38. They look to <coughs> bounce back this weekend. Also, in the final tournament of the reg of the regular season, they played the Brookings Harbor Bruins on Friday and fell 54 to 47 in a hard-fought match. On Saturday against the Bulldogs on North Bend, they fell 47 to 28. <coughs> a conference play for both boys and girls and girls basketball begins tomorrow, January 13th. Girls play at 6, and right after that, our boys play at 7.30. Make sure you come out and support our basketball teams. In wrestling news, our wrestlers competed against Ashton at home on Friday, defeating the Grizzlies by a score of 58-18. to Phoenix got pins from wrestlers Zach Atterbury, Richard Orndorff, Cedar King, Hunter McCoster, and Brady Vieira. Early in the week, our Pirates also got a dual meet victory over Klamath Union, finishing with a score of 45 to 28. And in swimming, our boys and girls traveled to Klamath Falls to compete against the Henley Hornets and others. Phoenix finished with seven event winners and a first place boys team. We were outdoors at the Ella Red Key Pool. Our swimmers endured a lot of numb fingers and toes. Outstanding job, Pirates. Individual event <coughs> winners were Ethan Shepard, 100 freestyle and 100 breaststroke. Tiana Hurd, 50 freestyle. Emily Samudio, 500 freestyle. Lauren Speaks, 100 breaststroke. We won two relays. The boys, 200 medley relay. Bryce Roy, Thomas Ward, Taylor Brown, Ethan Shepard. And the girls, 200 freestyle relay. Emily Samudio, Tiana Hurd, Katie Duffy, and Lauren Speaks. So, Riritsa, do you know what time of the show it is? <laughs> Can I guess? Of course. Is it trivia? It is. Last week's question was, what is the percentage of attendance you must need, need to have an advisory to walk at graduation? Drum roll, please. And the winner is <coughs> Navina De Luca, uh, 80%. In fearing. <laughs> um, be sure to uh, go to Mr. Rhodes' class and collect your prize. This week's question is, when is winter formal? Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to stick around for the pledge. And as always, this has been your school. And your people. And your news. Go, go Ducks! ducks. Uh...